Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and uh, today we are in the JE Mains Debated Question Series that I have promised to bring forward the question from JE Mains 2016 offline paper and this problem was present to you in the previous uh, one of the videos and uh, there was a debate about how to solve this question especially in the environment of an exam where uh, you are expected to solve this as quickly as possible. So is there a practical way of doing that? And how is it connected to the JE Advanced 2016, the tough uh, angular momentum problem? So let's try to explore this, okay? And for those who are looking at this question for the first time, I would request you to pause the video, have a look at the question on the right of the screen and uh, try to give it a try for one or two minutes and then come back to look at the solution I'm going to provide, okay, right. So the thing is, a roller is made by joining together two cones at their vertices. So this is like a reverse double cone. It is kept on two rails, A, B and C, D, which are placed asymmetrically with its axis perpendicular to C, D. That means this dotted line, which is the axis is perpendicular to C, D. And its center O at the center of the line joining A, B and C, D. It is given as light push so that the, uh, it starts rolling with its center O moving parallel to the CD in the direction shown. So this is the kind of top view of the figure. As it moves, the roller will tend to, there are four options given, right? Turn left and right alternatively, turn left, turn right and go straight. These are the four options you need to make out from, okay? So in case you are looking for the solution, I'm now going forward. So if you want to have a try, just pause and then go ahead, okay, right. So the concept that is uh, uh, related to is I picked the diagram from your JE Advanced 2016 problem, right? Uh, in case you want to have a look at that problem also, that's slightly tougher one. And I have already made a video on that. The link is in the description below, right? So you want to check that one out. So this is the picture that most of the students would be uh, relating to. So we'll try to study the concept here. Why? a toy of this kind, let's consider this as a toy where there is a disc and there is a bigger disc and there is a rod connecting them and you roll it on the floor. Imagine in this thing, this is not a top view. So here, imagine the push is given into the page. Then we all know that this toy will actually go around the smaller uh, disc. That means this smaller disc will go this way and this larger disc will go, uh, go in this direction. So. That is a practical thing that we know. With this practical thing, we can answer this JE mains question. But let's try to understand why it does that, okay? So from the top view, you already remember that uh, this bottommost point should be the point of rest because it's rolling without slipping. And this point is also point of rest. So the two points on the rigid body, which are at rest, if I join them, I can represent that as a instantaneous axis of rotation. Every point on the body, uh, its speed at that instant is decided by how far away it is from the instantaneous axis of rotation. And you can clearly see, I marked the center of the smaller disk as A and center of smaller disk, uh, bigger disk as B. And these velocities which are into the board would be actually smaller for A and larger for B because A is closer to the IAR as you could see compared to B. So if you are looking at this rod AB alone, right, with lower velocity VA and higher velocity VB, now imagine you are watching this from a top view, okay? So this is the top view of the entire system. Therefore, you will have a VA which is smaller and a VB which is larger. And this is a nice recipe for a rod which turns in the clockwise sense because you might think the center of this rotation of the rod is somewhere to the left because this point seems to be at a closer distance, right? And in, in, if, that, if that point is considered to be somewhere uh, around on the Z axis, you could see that it rotates in this manner since VA is less than VB. If the size of this disk on the right side is same as the size of this disc here, then this VA and VB would be equal to each other and then there won't be any rotation. So the toy always turns towards the smaller disc is the concept you need to know. Right. You need, you need not actually know it from the physics form. Even in the real life, you take a glass tumbler, which is like a frustum of a cone and roll it on the floor. It always turns towards the lower cross section area. Okay. So with that, out of our way. So coming back to the figure given in the question, if I roll this for delta t seconds later, then imagine this particular picture is drawn here, okay, right? And the cross section of contact, remember on the rail, there will be one point of contact and from top view, that cross section only will be touching this rail, okay? So that I have marked with a red line, 
here and delta t seconds later the cross section of contact on this side of the cone would be closer to this point o can you just imagine this one rolls to the forward position the cross section that will be in contact with this rail ab would be closer to o as compared to this one so that's what i have marked here on this cone the cross section of contact would be closer so with this toy being given a velocity this way this is equivalent to now having a small disc on this side and a big disc on this side connected by a rod with a velocity in this direction so that should obviously tell you from the previous concept that this is actually now going to turn towards the smaller disc okay so which means you need to know that this is going to spin this way in this picture or in this way in this picture and in this diagram it will go this way okay so you go back to the options and search for that answer that it is going to turn left okay right so that's the idea behind this question it was a nice cute question testing your ability not just to apply the concept but also how closely you are watching the practical situations of similar toys okay right and uh, so in order to go through the other important series just all the links of the playlists are uh, given in the description below pathfinder solution series and olympiad workout series ats select series and dissolve series and in the run up to the je mains and advanced exams i'll be coming coming up with more of the previous je mains and advanced debated questions the ones that actually are either tough or the key of which are debated so even those two you can add to this list and i'll be coming up so please do stay tuned to the channel try to like share and subscribe to the channel as you're keeping on getting some uh, quality content before the exams start in uh, september okay so uh, thank you and uh, stay with me for my next video right see you there